this video is focused on changing rate to unit rate. Our first example is about average rainfall in North Carolina. Here is the rate on the left side. North Carolina gets 135 inches every three years. Now let's talk about how to convert this to a unit rate. A unit rate has a denominator of one unit when the rate is written as a fraction. So for this to be written as a unit rate, the denominator would need to be one. We can solve this problem using proportions. Remember, a proportion is when you have two equivalent fractions and you have an equal sign in between. To move from three years to one year, that's a decrease. So we are scaling down and we are going to be dividing. Three years divided by three would give you one year. If we divided the denominator by three, we also need to divide the numerator by three so that we keep the ratio equivalent, so that we keep this fraction equivalent to the new fraction. Now we need to take the 135 and divide it by 3. 3 goes into 13 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. We subtract and we get a 1 for a remainder. You cannot ask the question until you bring a number down. Now I can ask how many times does 3 go into 15? 3 goes into 15 5 times. Exactly. 5 times 3 is 15. When I subtract, I get 0, and there's no number to bring down. So 135 divided by 3 gives us 45, 45 inches. Let's think about this another way. When you take 3 years and divide it by 3, it becomes 1. When you take 135 and divide it by 3, you get 45. It seems like it'd just be a simpler process if we just took the 135 and divided it by 3. And look, that's what the original fraction reads, 135 divided by 3. So a faster way to do this is to just divide the fraction. To find unit rate, the shortcut is to divide. So we take 135 and divide it amongst those three years. Let's think about that more deeply. If you take the 135 inches and you divide it amongst the three years, you would give 45 inches of rain to each year. There would be 45 inches of rain per year. And you write the unit rate at the end like this. Notice we don't have a one here. You would not put a one here because since there's no S on the end, it's just understood that that represents one year. So you don't have to write the one. The normal way to write this is to write 45 inches per year. So that's the average rainfall in North Carolina, 45 inches per year. We're gonna look at one more example together. In this example, we're gonna be looking at the speed of a sea turtle. The rate we are given is 20 miles per 10 hours. Remember, every rate can be converted to a unit rate. A unit rate has a denominator of one unit when the rate is written as a fraction. So we need the denominator to say, one hour instead of 10 hours for it to be a unit rate. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about if we decreased or increased when we went from 10 hours to one hour. We decreased, so we're scaling down. So we are dividing. 10 hours divided by 10 gives you that one hour. Whatever you did to the denominator, you have to do the same thing to the numerator so that you create an equivalent fraction. 20 divided by 10 gives you two. So for our unit rate, we get two miles per hour. Now remember the shortcut. We could have just taken the 20 miles and divided it by 10 hours. To find the unit rate, you just have to divide. Let's think about it more critically. If you were gonna take that 20 miles and split it up evenly amongst 10 hours, that would be two miles per hour. So that sea turtle would cover two miles every one hour. And you would write that unit rate as two miles per hour. When I looked it up online, I found that sea turtles 
cruise at around one mile per hour to about six miles per hour, but a sea turtle has been recorded as moving as fast as 22 miles per hour. I hope that you learned from this video that any rate can be converted to a unit rate, and to find unit rate, the easiest way is to just divide.